I'm Chris. Cool. And she's a geek. And this is our little spiel that we always do for our seminars. But age, I'm 60. How long we've been on the road. We sold our house in 2003 and this is 2013. So we've been doing this 10 years. And I'm Jim. And I've been on the road almost 10 years. <laughs> I'm 59. I'm not as old as she is. Mm. I almost don't even remember yeah. just what it's like to not be on the road. It was always a dream of ours. We loved traveling. We, both of us had been RVing when we were kids. And we had a business that was, we were entrepreneurs. So when we had the option to go, we did. It was really a pretty easy decision. Yeah, I say it was when my son turned 19 had a job and a friend that wanted to move in with and move he moved out of the house so we put the house up for sale the very next day so he couldn't move back in that's that's the story I tell hi Devin and the other background well from 1983 to 96 I owned a regular stick and brick computer training center and was you know pillar of the community and all that so that wouldn't have happened then Jim also worked with me at the training center. I sold that in 96. So I had to find a job. So I worked for an ISP for a while, and that's where I got a lot of information about internet service and that kind of thing. And then I was a network administrator for a large construction company down in South Florida. And then I went out on my own and I was network support for small businesses, two to twenty computers, mom and pops, a lot of small manufacturing, some lawyers and some CPAs, accountants. And I was just in had clients that I did database access programming for. So we were not tied anymore and we could follow our dreams. When we first took off, I kind of thought that we would do something completely different. You know, our <laughs> life has totally changed. We'll figure out some brand new way to make a living. But computer training is just, it's what, it's what I do. And computer support and just playing with technology is what he does. And we found that people on the road needed to learn this too. And we do everything for planning, preserving, and sharing your travels now. Chris has written the Beginner's Guide to Picasa. It's a little booklet that we sell on the web. It's on Amazon. And we have an ebook. We're doing some training on smartphones now. And we're just we're just having a, a great time traveling around the country, pretty much following the the rallies. We're kinda of like carnies in that in that <laughs> sense. And it's just a, a wonderful group of people that, that we've met over the years and the vendors and the people that, that work the rallies. So it, it just it's just so much fun. And now we have a DVD. We we do a special at all the rallies so that they can get our product and we've just been endorsed by the escapees RV club so we're gonna be doing the escapade and we have a, a pre-rally we do some hands-on classes now at these rallies and we would like to to do more of that we did find early on that we can't make a living doing live seminars so I started recording them using screencast software on the computer and you know, talk voice over screencast. So that's what our product is, is tutorial videos. I make them five to seven minutes each. There's 80 some odd of them on Picasa alone. So you could, you could sit down and watch Picasa videos for eight hours. Those are all on our website. We charge a membership fee for the website. So that's how we're making our living and that is so cool to just wake up in the morning and check PayPal and see how much how much money came in from members overnight. <laughs> <laughs>
we're in our Gulfstream Endura. It's a 37 foot Super C with a Duramax engine and a Kodiak chassis. It was built in 07 and it has two slides. We're living in luxury here. Our first rig was a 30 foot Class C Safari which was kind of an unusual rig. No slides and we were in that for eight years. We did some modifications to make it work for us and that's something that, that every RVer should should know about is that you don't have to live with what you buy you can actually modify these things the furniture that we had custom made in Napanee by Focal Wood Products has just been wonderful the floor plan is so important when you have an RV and when you're deciding what you want to have we never considered a towable and we like the cab over for Spare room. Spare room, which Spare is bedroom. a junk room, but it, <laughs> we can also take the grandkids or family on jaunts, and, and we've done that, too. Yeah, I know a lot of people have to make the decision between a fifth wheel or a motorhome, and for us, there was never a question. My dream was to live on the road, and that doesn't mean... that doesn't mean having to stop and get out to go to your home. You know, it means being able to get up and go to the bathroom or get a drink or something while you're on the road. So it was never a question. You know, what blows me away is how easy it was for us. I mean, we did no research. We did no planning. We just all of a sudden decided that what we had been dreaming of, we could just go ahead and do now. We did learn a lot at the Life on Wheels. So going to an organized educational type rally or whatever you want to call it is very important because there are some basics that are important tires. to know. Yeah, we, <laughs> we learned a lot about tires. <laughs> tires and weights and and suspensions and driving techniques and things to do as you go. I burned out some brakes because I did not know that I'm supposed to downshift early and that, that was an important lesson and we had the wrong load range tires on and we had to replace our tires. That was an expensive proposition, but we did the things that we needed. Safety is important. You want to keep doing this and you can't do it if you're on the side of the road. I think forward. everything has to have at least two purposes when you live in a small place, whether it be an RV <laughs> or a boat or who We've been knows? talking about my slippers, see? Because <laughs> they keep my feet warm and they clean the floor at the same time. <laughs> very, very important thing. You should always try and follow your dream. And if it doesn't work for you, stop. That's okay. You, you can you can get a You'll house. know. We know we know a guy who who did go RVing kind of because of our example, but it just wasn't for him. Yeah. He found that he drove to one spot and then he stayed there for six months. I said, well, doesn't sound to me like you really like RVing then, so he stopped. And he went back to his <laughs> old business and he's doing fine. It's but not for everybody. It is not for everyone. But we it love is for it. us. <laughs>